What is up you guys? This is D22 with you today with another tutorial video. Now this is a request from a subscriber of mine and he wants to know how to use Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Now this is much different than Sony Vegas whereas I have Sony Vegas Pro 13 and this is Sony Movie Studio Platinum HD version 13 the 64-bit operating system version. So we're gonna open it up here and it actually looks really different than the regular Sony Vegas. So what we are going to do here is that the menu that pops up at startup is a welcome window. It shows you how to create a new project. It gives you show me how tutorials and then you can just start using it right away. So we're going to just start using it right away just to see what it's like. And it gives you just an idea of where to start. Like this tutorial tells you you can click to start adding media files. You can click when you're done editing click to start an interactive guide that will show you how to use movie studio preview your project here add your audio files here select to automatically shift the timeline when you resize click to split the selected event to trim and the normal tool and audio and tracks are mixed together okay so it gives us an idea of what to do so we're just gonna close out of this and we are going to create our first new project here so we're gonna go uh, this it's, it's basically set to simplified editor and then here's the advanced editor so we're just gonna get rid of that so we're gonna stick with simple first so let's just select new project or you can just press control N and then it allows you to select the video settings stereo or 5.1 surround sound you can select the regions let's just go let's let's just go internet video and then we're gonna select internet HD and then the name of the video will be test test video so we're going to go okay so it's automatically saves the name and that allows you to start your project now to start putting in your videos you go to add media and then it will allow you to find the videos that you want now like Vegas you can use many different formats so we're just gonna use my intro as one it, it tells you what type of video it is and then you press open it opens up in your window here and then to add it you just simply double click it and it adds it or you can do the drag and drop whatever works so we're gonna just go to the start of the video and then we're gonna play it so it plays your video right there now if you want to add more you just go add media and then you can just put in another one and double click on it to do that and then if you want to just drag and drop you just click and hold the video and then you drag it until this appears so now you have in your timeline two videos I mean it's pretty much the same as Sony Vegas HD or Sony Vegas Pro it plays your videos and it also allows you to just preview the videos and all that stuff I mean there's no there's no huge differences here you got your project media tab transitions tab video effects tab and media generators tab now they are missing a few tabs here from what I notice so they have these four tabs and they don't have like the add effects menu but I think if you right click on it you can select video event effects if you want to add the plugins there so the setup is pretty much the same as anything else it imports filter packages and anything else here so let's say you want to add a blur to it so we'll just double click the effect and then we click OK and then it adds our blur so this is a way that we can just add the effects to it and then we just close out of that and then let's say that you want to add a cut to it so what you do you press the S key to split it so it's the same as Sony Vegas Pro the functions are the same the interface just looks totally different 
and then and then some so you can just add your media generators you can also go pan and crop so that you can crop your video accordingly you can just crop it down to size like that and it's, it's just what you want I mean it's just like Sony Vegas Pro except the interface is different the buttons are different and then such so in, in a sense it's just like Sony Vegas in a way but the features are probably limited to what you see here so what we're gonna do is let's say we're done and then we're gonna go make movie but with this you can upload it to YouTube upload it to Facebook burn it to a DVD save it to my camera or save it to my hard drive so that function is pretty cool like Sony Vegas Pro it probably does the same thing so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cancel this for now let's just say we're like we finished editing our video and we make like fine cuts and adjustments and tunes and all that let's say let's just say that we cut up our video and that we're done so what you do is you click make movie let's just go with uh, upload it to YouTube for starters so it will give you the username and password screen so let's just say I'm gonna do my vlogging channel and then the title will be test video and then it'll be test video and then you can set the video category to people and blogs now with this you have to make sure that you don't have user authentication enabled because if you have user authentication enabled it's not going to work properly so make sure that you don't have two-step verification enabled so that you can upload directly from the app so we're gonna show test video Vegas or Sony movie studio and then you can set the broadcast options the render quality and then such so that that's how you that's how you generally do it then you go public and then normal there we go we have to make sure that when you upload the video your legions or legions your regions are set properly so then once everything looks good click upload and then if your username or information is wrong it'll say fail to log into YouTube your YouTube information or password is not recognized by the server so what you do is you go and retry it and then it allows you to try again So if your password is right, it'll go through it. But that's the thing though, you have to make sure that your username and password is correct there. So the direct upload to YouTube may not work properly. So if you just wanna save the movie, you just go make movie, save it to my hard drive, and then it will allow you to do the render. So let's just go here. For, for, for example, we're just gonna delete some of our clips here for the sake and purpose of rendering. So let's say you're done your video. Then you go make movie, save it to my hard drive, and then it'll allow you to save the format that you want. What I usually use is MP4 because it is a really great format when you want to upload. So let's just say we're going to select MP4. It gives you the resolution, the estimated file size, and the estimated upload time. So it gives you statistics on how your video will do when it comes to sharing on a streaming site so then what we're gonna do is it will also ask us where to save the movie then we go next and then it starts the rendering process but we're not gonna finish that up because I already have this video so you can cancel it at any time and then it goes back to this window so that is generally how to use Sony Vegas Movie Studio splitting the clips or you can just press S or click here and then you can press X to delete and then you go here and add effects and it's the same as pressing the buttons here to add your own effects and then you can go to the effects presets here and then that's how you do it so we're just going to disable these effects That, that's, that's essentially it and then you can save your video by clicking save and then it saves it automatically and then you can undo it 
and then there's the show me how guide now n nothing to it there's your play from start your loop playback pause stop go to start go to end previous frame next frame so you can skip a frame with this button and then this record button is there if you have a microphone hooked up to your computer and you want to do a voiceover so we're gonna just do a voiceover right here you have to make sure that your microphone is selected and then it gives you a project recorded files folder and then that's where it saves it so here we go yes my yes my name is Kane I won let's party okay anyways so then it allows you to save it and then you press done and then then your voice then your voice will be here like this like like this so yeah your voice will pick up there and that's essentially it that's how you record your voice yeah exactly so that is it that's pretty much how you do it now it's the very same as using Sony Vegas Pro and if you want to look at a video about that, there's a video in the annotation that will take you there. And I swear to God, it's exactly the same as Sony Vegas Pro. Like, you wouldn't even believe it. And this is just a subscriber request. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. And if you liked it, leave a comment below. And if you didn't like it, and if I didn't explain it enough, well, I'm sorry. That is just how I roll. So thanks very much for watching. Get Field for Life.